talking. I'm listening. Go on. Hello. No, keep talking. Hello. Oh, I thought you said I was black trash. Keep talking. Oh, no. <laughs> Hello guys, my name is Titus Mwagambo and I'm Golden Boy and you? I'm Rafael. Yes, so today we want to shoot about, uh, we want to talk about this woman who got bullied in supermarket by three white men, women. So, have you ever been bullied by uh, a person? Yeah, I have ever been. Do you think racism exists in everywhere? In Kenya, in Africa, in America? Racism is everywhere. Racism is everywhere. So this lady was trying to complain. And now, before that, we want you to see this video of how this lady was complaining. Then, we'll come back and we'll be discussing about this uh, thing that has always happened in America. I'm going on a short break with my kids for the new year. And I wanted to get them a few things that they will use in the hotel. I'm standing in line, minding my business, because I would always mind my business. I don't look for trouble, but I'm, 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 trust me to finish it. I'm not someone that backs down in the face of racism. So I'm, you know, doing my own thing. As the line is moving, these girls had lined up the wrong way. So everybody's lining up going to the right. They had lined up going to the left. I guess they look and who else to bully a black girl in the line because they think I would I would, I would cower because they are three. So she tries to push me out of the line and I stand my ground. And she now says, cunt, go back to your country. Black trash. Immediately, I said, can you repeat yourself? And I'm getting out my phone. Because one thing about this, always make sure you get them on video. Always make sure as a person of color, when shit starts to hit the fan, make it, make sure that your camera is out because they, they would, the person is likely to flip things around. And trust me, they would, they, they would always, people would always side with the white person. If I, if I get to the police station now and I hadn't gotten her on video hitting me, my phone flying she would have said that i hit her first the lady seeing that i had gotten her on camera you see she and her friends trying to say hello for the for the she just couldn't even pretend she had to hit me because she was aggravated because she was angry how dare i how dare i stand against three white girls so now obviously when she hit me i was already boiling i was already shaking and it takes a lot it takes a lot because I want I it was a, I wanted to punch her face so hard but I know that if I try it it will flip the script they will say angry black woman attacks three white ladies but she's hitting me now and everybody's standing everybody's watching everybody's removing their face nobody's trying to separate anything had I been the one had I been the one that had hit her now by now they would have called the police by now i would have been in handcuffs i will take the three of you at the same time don't try me call me whatever oh yeah oh yeah i love this i love this keep going so racism exists in many forms so a white person can bully a, a black person at the same same time a white person can bully a white person then at the same same time a black person can bully uh, a white person and vice versa so this is something that has not always happened in even us this is something that has always happened even in, in us like we in in schools there there's a lot of bullying in schools and we are not only talking about this lady who got bullied in in supermarket and she was ex explaining how she if she could in get involved in that fight then uh, the, the the news there will be a major news so we want to talk about this like Rafael do you have a, um, an experience of someone who bullied you in school uh, in school not really because in our class we are all Africans mm -hmm. or we are all black mm -hmm. so my experience is in a in a in a shopping mall. A shopping mall. Yeah. Yeah. So there's this one time, like I was in a line. I was in a line mm -hmm. trying to do my shopping. Mm -hmm. So then, uh, one guy approached me, a white guy, who was serving with. They were with a white lady. Mm -hmm. So they approached me, like you know, when you are in a line, you are going to pay your your for your items. Mm -hmm. So when I was 
on a queue when I'm going to pay for my items at the cashier. So this white guy and with, with a white lady approached me, like you know it was a kind of short, not so long queue. So they were just saying like I should excuse them to be, they they running short of time. So like they should be. I should excuse them to pay fast for their items. Yeah. So then I was like disgust, disgust because of that 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 statement from them. So because like I even myself I have the right to be to be in that queue. Yeah. So like I can be served too. Yeah. So like they, they tried calling me some names, mm. some names relating to racism, mm, such as this uh, black man. Yeah. Can you excuse us? So like I was so disgusted. Yeah. Yeah, that's I guess my experience. So, so I have a friend of mine here who is called Titus. And Titus, do you have anything to say? So my friend here has also a funny story about uh, a white person who had experience with. So he's called Titus. Titus, do you have anything? Yeah. Mm. There's, there's this one guy. <laughs> Uh, I was in my nature walk to Karen. So, <laughs> so my friend was trying to explain how he got. He was called a monkey, but in the midway, uh, he wanted to cry. So he left the group. So we want to talk about how have you ever been in that situation where you got bullied by your fellow countrymen, by your fellow neighbors. So this is something that has been happening for, for a long time. And if you see it, that the white always see the black as uh, these people who don't have, who are not human beings, who are in humans. So that's why they always see, they always see us like we are not, we don't have, we don't have uh, health, we don't have wealth, we, we, we can't mind, we can't make any we can't make we can't get involved in making decisions so this is something that it is very very happening and uh rough do you have it uh yeah there's a lot of ways which racism can occur racism can occur maybe as a customer you are being served in in a uh raise your way mm. maybe in supermarket restaurants or anywhere where, where you you need services mm. or Maybe in events, mm. maybe even when he, he, entertainment joins, there's clubs, mm. you know, maybe gamings, you know, you can face a lot of discrimination in a in a, a, a racial way. Yes. Mm, yeah. So the best the best part is we get we should we as black we need to get united, and we, we at least try to form even a group, where in case someone got gets bullied. We can try and as much as possible. Yeah, let's just have respect for each other. Yeah. Let's just have equality and fairness. Yeah. We just know all of us, we are just human beings, yeah. regardless of our color yeah. and such. With otherwise, if we continue like this, then I think the, the white will continue dividing us. Like I always say that there is something called conquer, divide and rule. So this is something that the white have always used. They are trying to divide us so that they can be able to rule us forever. And with time, I think many of us are waking up because we, we are trying to spread news as much as possible so that can reach as many people as uh, can reach in many places so that we continue to get united. We can continue to love one another and we get knowledge, we get uh, transferred and uh, any anything that can help so otherwise this this video was very 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 sad that this lady got bullied and the way she was talking she she was like someone who, who if she would get involved in that fight then i think he'll get in a big news like she said so we want to we want to end this video here by saying that uh, we should continue uh, together being together united we should continue having that knowledge. We should continue saying that we 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 need to treat one another like regardless of racism, regardless of color. So otherwise, this video. Yes, and also as the lady said in this video, mm. when you experience such uh, such uh, 
a disgusting experience. Mm -hmm. You just, if you have your camera on, maybe using your phone, you just keep recording them. Let's expose this this behavior so that we can reduce them yeah. in our society. Let's live in a diverse society. Let's be one. Yeah. Yeah. So otherwise, we end this video here. And thank you for watching this video up to this point. We really appreciate you. And we'll see you in the next episode. I hope it's episode 60 something. So see you in the next episode. My see name you. is Golden Boy. And you? I'm Rafael. See you. See you.